Hi, um, excuse the crazy storm weather hair. I haven't been outside, but I figured I might as well try and look like I had. No, I just woke up like three hours ago and well, I'm not going anywhere today. So, um, this is the view outside from my window right now. Every once in a while, I don't know if, probably because I mentioned it, one won't pop up right now. But a leaf flies by. Actually, there are some flying by here and there, but they're really tiny ones, so I don't know if you can see them. Um, but it's funny because I live on the eighth floor of a skyscraper. Or, I don't know. Is it a skyscraper? I don't know, but it's, it's a tall building. So those leaves are being blown up a long ways. Actually, you might be able to see. Oof. Oh. The, s the snowflake in the window is um, something that my roommate made at the beginning of school, so it's not a real snowflake, but I don't know if you guys can see. Number one, we're pretty far from the ground, and number two, there's just like construction cones and stuff all over the ground, the trees are flying around, and there's leaves all over the ground, and all in all, it's a good day. Anyway. Um, so, I'm fine, in case anyone's asking, because I know, like, several of you have, like, texted me, called me, stuff like that, wondering if I'm okay. I'm totally fine. Um, I don't have school today, or tomorrow, which I didn't really have school on Tuesdays anyway. Um, and depending on how bad it gets, I might not have it Wednesday, but we'll see. Um... Until then, this is really fun and interesting, and I know that's horrible to say because people are going to probably end up injured or, I mean, they're expecting, like, what, a billion dollars worth of damage from this storm, so I'm sure it's going to be awful for a lot of people. might even be awful for people back home because that seems to be the way it works, but I really do love storms. Anyway, <laughs> um, the poem I'm reading today, I actually wrote pretty late last night. And it's called Proud. When we were little, Jonah and I, you'd spin us around, one of us under each of your arms. We have a picture of it. White lace spinning out from my hair and dress. Jonah's grinning, drooling mouth red against his baby skin. Both of our heads elongated by our shutter speed, not fast enough to capture our mad top spinning laughter. And the thing is, I was afraid of the carousel, but you could never go fast enough. I dressed up as you for Halloween in a blue striped shirt that looked awful on both of us. Mom drew an eyeliner mustache on me and you carried me on your hip all night, even though I was big enough to walk. When I was born, you said that you had never seen anything so beautiful, though I was chubby and wild-eyed and screaming. When you left the hospital, you thought you might get drunk. But you remembered the way I looked at you, like I understood who you were, so you waited a few years before you chose a drug that left trap marks on your arms and less than signs on your heart. My fourth grade picture, you told me to smile big. In that picture, I looked frantic with happiness. I practiced all day. I wanted to make you proud. All right, guys. Have a good day. Stay safe. Stay dry. And I'll enjoy it from here.